Hi, everybody. Hi, Jenny. Hi, Michael. Ooh, it's hot, people. It is hot. Hi, Zuleika. Hi, Marvin. Hi, Shelly. Catherine. <laughs> Hi, Daddy. Hi, Kelly. Juanita. San Antonio, Texas. Wie geht's, Deutschland? <laughs> I love Rosie. And Tula says hi. Hi, Consuelo. Okay, guys, real quick. I uh, I barely slept last night because I finally got uh, Zuli spayed. So you're going to laugh at me, but all day I was in my car in front of the vet waiting for her. <laughs> She's now resting in the living room, but I was there all day. I got there at 8.30. I came back really quickly to feed the Golden Girls, and then I went back, and I just got home. Hence the relaxed, chillax home day. But I did do something really cool for Love for One Another that I can't wait to share with you guys, that I will be sharing with you in the next... Actually, maybe before, maybe before this, uh, my last uh, winner so that you guys can uh, see what's going on. I'm very excited about it. It's gonna be fun, it's gonna be good. Um, welcome, welcome, welcome. Yes, it is pretty outside. It's definitely uh, been a crazy day. I mean, I'm so grateful that she's okay. She's just with her tongue out, the little cone in, the, in, my, in my living room. And uh, Yes, I'm a little tired because I didn't sleep. I just kept thinking of the worst, you know. I, I, I really, because she's such she's a senior. I'm so for staying and neutering. I actually say that all the time. But because of her age, I was nervous because, you know, she's a senior. But they did her blood work and everything seemed fine and they did it really fast. And she was the first one that they did for the day, which was great. So I'm, I'm happy that she's okay. She's kind of making little noises, but, you know. So yes, that was my day today with my little Zuli. Um, winner 25. Yay, yay, yay. I can't believe it. I can't believe we've come to 25 now. Crazy. Oh, and this is pretty amazing. This is nominated by Kristen Haskell. Um, do I have any pictures? Let me make sure before I start doing this. Thanks, guys. My eyes look so small. <laughs> it's called lack of sleep. This is a hot mess right now. This is what hot mess is. <laughs> but um, let me look and see if there's anything else here that I wanted to. It's really sunny. Woo. Um, yeah. I think. I think we are. Okay. I like it. Okay, sorry, I just had to make sure that I did my research on, on this uh, winner because it's pretty, I mean, they're all amazing. They're all amazing. Oh, wow, wow. And on, okay, good to know. I got more information about this winner for today because it was nominated by his wife. Hi, Gia. I'm doing a live feed, Mama. He's over there. Is peaking. Um, okay, sorry, I had to look at that really quick. Hi, Angela. Hi, everybody. Hi, thank you for joining me. I love this. I love that you guys are here. There we go. All right, so day number 25. Yes, I know. I can definitely rest tonight, Shelly Hill. I will be sleeping very well tonight. Can you tell my mom I'm doing a live feed? Because I hear her. Is she over there? 
Okay. All right. So, nominated by Kristen Haskell. Here's the letter. I would like to nominate my husband, Steve. He is amazing. I have muscular dystrophy and so does my youngest brother. It is a slow progressive disease. You start out walking and end up so weak you can't stand, let alone walk. Steve has taken excellent care of me, but I am, I am his wife of 25 years. The remarkable part was when my mother got to the point that he couldn't do it for himself, Steve opened his heart and our home so my brother would receive his help. Steve does everything for both of us. He has dedicated his life to help two severely disabled people and giving them the best life possible. Steve even had a house built with all the accommodations persons with MD, muscular, muscular uh, with dystrophy, right? Yeah, muscular dystrophy, would need like accessible bathroom and large roll and shower. It is for these reasons and so many more that I hope you will be considered. My name is Kristen Haskell and my husband is Steve Haskell. How crazy is that? amazing for not just taking your wife of 25 years and taking care of her for better for worse for sicker for all that oh it's the neighbors okay good i thought it was my dogs for for, for richer for poor for sicker i mean all the vows i mean to do that and then to take in her brother wow that is inspiring and um it takes a lot for somebody to do that and you are being honored you're amazing steve um your heart is i mean beyond huge is he here i'd love to see if he was here if not i know this this feed this uh this uh, video will get to him wow i'm 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 touched by it i'm touched by everybody's you know but when it comes to like changing your house for a disabled person, I mean, that's, wow, that's amazing. Yeah. So yeah, we looked at his Facebook feed and, and uh, she's in a wheelchair. And I mean, just to be such a loving husband, that's admirable, honorable, and makes me proud to say that you are part of the love for, and for one another family. Love for one another family. And um, thank you, thank you for doing what you do. And we're honoring you and please post, you know, know that you're part of the family now, Steve and, and his lovely wife, uh, Kristen. And, and the brother, I don't know his brother's name, but the brother as well, um, wishing you guys love and health. Please stay healthy right now with everything that's going on. And um, thank you for doing what you're doing. There's a, there's a, definitely no waiting list when you, when, in <laughs> Heaven's Gate, I can tell you that. <laughs> They're like, oh, no, nope, he doesn't need to wait. Just come on in. Just, just come on in. <laughs> That's the goal for all of us is not have to wait, not have to stand in line anymore, right? <laughs> oh, man. Well, yeah. Thank you, guys. Um, that's amazing. Please wish Steve Haskell and his wife, Kristen, a con congratulations. Welcome to the Love for One Other family. Um, again, oh wait, my son Michael died from Duchenne muscular dystrophy. He was 19. The only cure for no, it, the only cure for no cure is love. Every family gets cut off. I can't see what else you say, Angela. My my deepest consoles, condolences for for your loss. Uh, you know that that must be. I mean, I was just just talking about, um, just talking about loss. And, and family members losing family members how it's just really really hard and um, especially right now um, with what's going on COVID I'm seeing all these people losing family members and it's really heartbreaking so I'm so glad that we have this community to support each other Angela know our heart is with you as well um, so yeah you know I, I hope that you guys are coming onto this page I, I will be posting much more um, I'm actually thinking about starting a YouTube Love for One Another channel so that you guys can all, you know, go there and we can have longer, longer stuff. And I mean, it just depends. I'm just trying to get the, the best platform so that we can all come together. So, of course, please, you guys, give me um, suggestions. But um, I plan on, on doing a lot of stuff. And, and this is just so inspiring. It's so inspiring. I, I hang up. 
hang up like I end this the speed and I always feel so enlightened and awakened and motivated and um, I hope that you guys feel the same way as, as well um, yeah yeah and don't worry this this is not ending I mean five days it's it's ending at every day at five o'clock but I'm I'm gonna give you guys content as much as I can even if it's just a thought um, not love for one other base but I will be cooking on Sunday which I'm really excited about because um, people are always asking me especially with my condition I have multiple sclerosis I mean yeah multiple sclerosis um, how I take care of myself so it's not a health thing I'm not a doctor but people always ask me like how do I take care of myself and I wanted to share that with you guys as well it's a little bit of love for one another because everything I, I do I try to share and, and help everyone so all right yay thumbs up I like the thumbs up <laughs> um, yeah I'm gonna sleep well tonight I can tell you that my dog is is past that that uh, that was scary. I hate that. It's, Lily, how, who sits in front of the vet for six hours? Me. <laughs> Makes me laugh. Um, anyways, tune in tomorrow. Um, tomorrow at five o'clock, same time, same place. I'll probably be at boogie time because we have a busy day tomorrow. But um, yeah, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Please uh, keep sharing. Share this video on your pages so that other people start coming to love for one another and, and joining the family. And uh, everybody's welcome. And uh, see you tomorrow. Bye.